Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I teach you all the makeup tips and tricks that leave you feeling sexy and confident. So, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below if you too want to feel sexy and confident. Today we are moving on to part two of the brow series. If you haven't seen it already, go back and check out number one. I'm going to link it below. It's all about brow gel, but today we are all about brow powder or also known as eyeshadow. I'm going to teach you how to apply this product and my thoughts on the product. So without further ado, let's jump into this brow tutorial. I did have a slight malfunction because of course I bought all these from the drugstore and I was trying them out as I go to be honest. I had just got this one from e.l.f. It's called the an eyebrow kit. It's got a brow gel and a brow, a brow gel and a brow powder. So you put the gel on first and that's the dark one here and then you set it with the powder and I'm like interesting concept. I actually thought it was both powder little squares here that would make more sense to me uh, because you can always fill in your eyebrows with eyeshadow. That's kind of what's going on when you get a powder brow product. I'm going to recreate what I was expecting that product to be and we're going to go in actually, I've got two MAC shades in front of me. Now you do not need MAC, you do not need MAC cosmetics to help you get the right color. Just go to the drugstore, go to your Target, find some brown shadows, find ones that are more cool toned. So the two I've got here, this is Wedge and then this is Corduroy. So I think I'm going to start with Corduroy. It's a little darker and then just dust it off as I go. Wedge just in case I was a little too dark. My tips for when doing powder is you're most likely going to have a brush that's double ended like this at home and if you don't it's easy to pick one up. While that e.l.f. product didn't impress me, this did. This is literally, I think it was three dollars. Why do I forget the price all the time? Three or four dollars for this double-ended eyebrow brush. And I was like, no way. And it's very thin on this end. It's amazing. And I was, and like what matters is when you tilt the brush this way and you look at how close they pinch those hairs together, that's what's important. That's what's gonna get your application really precise and give you those hair-like strokes. I am gonna switch between this brush here and then I have recently found this brush and look at how tiny this is. It is very, very precise. This is amazing. If everyone could get this brush, you would be set for life. So we're going to start by going in with the darker shade and the e.l.f. brush and I'm going to use it to create the tail end and then when it comes to this uh, beginning part, we want it to be a little bit more soft and that's going to be achievable with this brush right here. So again, I'm going to just touch, just touch the shadow and tap it off for real. You do not want to put in too dark of a line and then have to build up to that and then your brows look super super dark. With the eyeshadow it's very possible. So I'm going to first just brush the hairs in the direction that I want them to go and then I always start with move. I always start with the underneath. So you can see hopefully I'm going to zoom this in but you can see that structure is slowly building. There we go. Bring it all the way down to the tail. That looks pretty good to me. And then we're going to go to the top. Let's start right about here. I'm going to kind of roughly follow where my brows are, brow hairs are. Now this is very light because I want this to be like the outline. Now I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to follow. So if you see your brush or your brow hairs start by going straight up here. Then they turn and they go this direction and then they go down. So I'm going down just until it looks like everything is about the same color. Not that it looks like it's completely filled in and opaque just that it looks natural. We've got hair like strokes going on. Now we're going to switch over to this one and this is a Bedellium Tools brush. It's the 760 brush. Again that will be down below. I'm going to touch in and now I'm going to create the little hairs where I've got more sparseness up here. And we're of course going straight up 
because that is the direction they are growing. When you're doing the little hairs under here, roughly see where that line goes because you don't want it to go too far down so that way you don't end up with a very thick beginning to your brow, but you also don't want to miss out and go too high. I notice most often I forget to go down far enough, probably because I'm playing it safe all the time. But there we go. This is one of my favorite ways to do my brows, also if I'm in a rush, because you have a lot of control over how dense this brow gets because you're constantly tapping off the product and it's not like a dip brow where you dip your brush in and then you go to put it on and you're like and you're like oh my god that's way more product than i ever wanted and then i'm gonna go back in with that elf brush Woo! Oh my god I'm back in with that elf brush and i'm going to just run it softly through the brow hairs just so i can see what this looks like you know and with that, I am loving like how natural this looks. And I really need to emphasize that natural is what we're really going for. You don't want your brow to be super bold. You want it to look like a brow. Gorgeous. So now I'm going to go back in with my concealer. And of course, we're going to top it off by carving out the brow. And there it is, that is the finished brow, all nice and carved out. And then I'm gonna go and pop this one back. And there is both brows looking fabulous. So overall, this is how you do your brows using eyeshadow or a powder brow product. It's pretty inexpensive, anywhere from $10, even under if you find it just a cheap brown. And so the last thing I will say that is a little bit different from the last product is that it doesn't have the gripping of the gel to hold the hairs in place. So if you're looking for a product that you wanted to hold hairs in place, this wouldn't be the one for you. But if you're looking for one that's gonna give you a little structure color-wise and really help you define them, excellent choice. So with that, onto brow product number three.